So I'm Brian Woods with Samsung. I'm here today to talk about the Sidekick 4G from T-Mobile. Brand new product that's launching soon, this spring. Beautiful hardware, so we'll focus on, on one here. You've got the classic Sidekick design um, with an Android operating system. So familiar Android um, UI here where we have the different panels. But as far as hardware goes, Legacy Sidekicks were known for their shortcut buttons on the sides. So you've got two in the left, two in the right here. We have an optical joystick, which is this circle right here. Sidekick badge for identity. Your, as a handset, if you want to hold it up to your ear, your earpiece or your, your uh, microphone, or receiver, I'm sorry, is up there. So it's very simple, very comfortable design. Microphone's down the bottom. You've got your power key, your volume, Rockers up and down. You've got your three and a half millimeter headset jack. On this side, you've got your micro SD card slot, which supports up to 32 gigabytes. Um, and you've got your, um, your USB connector. So in terms of form factor, flip up screen. It's a very easy to use pop up screen. We call it a slide, slide up. Full five row keyboard. Um, very powerful keyboard, a lot of shortcut buttons, including a voice button, which opens up Google Voice services. Navigation, um, searching, dictating a text message or an email, variety of different services that Google provides. Um, all right here, all very easy. And again, with the full touch screen, the phone can be entirely operated um, in a portrait way. So if I want to, I just want to show you the keyboard because swipe is a default input method when I have the keyboard closed. So the phone is fully functional when the keyboard is, is closed. There's the swipe keypad. I'm drawing. I even have the microphone uh, that's a default on the swipe keypad now as part of this. Is this uh, Android 2.0? This is Android 2.2. So it's a Froyo based product. Um, we're going to have it available in two different colors. So I have the two colors here. As you can see on the front, they're identical. Um, Identical keypads, identical look on the front. On the back is where you see the difference. So you've got one skew, white back, magenta flip up, Sidekick branding, T-Mobile's logo, Samsung's logo. Sorry, I'll keep my hand a little more steady so you can grab a shot of that. And then on this one, same branding, so Sidekick, T-Mobile, Samsung, obviously a black cover with a white back here. Um, both battery cover, or the black battery cover is a soft touch. So it has a different feel than the traditional white on this side. Your camera's right here. It's a three megapixel camera on the back. I say back because on the front of the Sidekick, there is a front facing camera. It's a VGA camera. Um, you can leverage the T-Mobile 4G network to take advantage of services like video chat using this front facing camera. This product, the Sidekick 4G, is in the fastest category for T-Mobile's HSPA Plus network. So it has a theoretical maximum speed of 21 megabits per second, which puts it in their fastest category alongside with our Galaxy S 4G device that launched um, back in February. So as far as the user interface, I'll just focus on one of them. The UI is completely custom. So Samsung in, in most of, if not all of their Android products uses what's called TouchWiz, which is a I guess a fairly well-known user interface layer on top of Android that Samsung has developed. For Sidekick, we um, built the UI from the ground up along with T-Mobile. Custom design, really geared to make this product the ultimate messaging device. So when you take a look at it, you know it has the familiar, I showed these earlier, it has the familiar panes, has a variety of different widgets, but one of the cool things that you'll see from a messaging perspective, at least as a default, is sticky message. So you can actually paste your favorite text messages on the, one of your panes or many of your panes and just have that as a shortcut to your, to your text messaging application or more specifically your favorite text. Um, one other huge feature on this product that differentiates it from any other messaging device in the market today is a feature called group texting. So what group texting does is it allows you to not only set up a group, and I think group texting is a common um, is a common term. I'm going to just flip, flip phones here. Um, is a common term in the industry. We know that we can send text messages from our phones to a, a mass amount of people. What group texting on Sidekick allows for is basically 
the sidekick owner can administer a group of people. And they send a text message out. That group can be small, it can be large. And what happens is the recipient can be on any device. But the value of the message from the sidekick is that the recipient can see who else is on the, the message string. So it's more like email. Um, and they can actually reply to the entire group. So the sidekick owner controls that conversation, but everyone can participate in it. Huge differentiation from other messaging devices that are out there today. So big feature for Sidekick. Um, and one of the elements that we developed, you, met, you look at the, um, you know, the interface of the menu application, it's nice and smooth, it has a gigahertz hummingbird processor um, underneath, which is a big, big deal in terms of processor speed. Three and a half inch um, display, um, media room, is another custom application. Again, built from the ground up. Um, one opportunity that we saw here with this being somewhat of an entertainment device is music, video, slacker radio, the opportunity to store all of that content in one convenient application and have a default widget on the home screen as a, as a shortcut to get there. Um, big value add uh, for the end user. A um, Couple of other quick things. So gallery application, sorry. Your gallery applications here, so you've got your traditional access to, um, to photos, et cetera. Just looking for my SD card there. Um, you know, again, these are all customizable. Not sure why that's not, there it is. So your different widgets are available. It's a whole range. There's an app pack, which is a new T-Mobile service. Buddies Now is a shortcut um, or aggregation of all your social networking, calendar, days, Drive Smart, which is an exciting application that basically allows for, uh, prevents the use of a phone while, while you're driving. So it'll route your calls to voicemail, it'll automatically send a text back to um, whoever sent you a message just to let them know that you're busy and you've got to focus on the road. Um, Clock, Facebook, feeds an update as a, as a Samsung uh, application. There's group texting, Google Latitude, Android Market, which now has over 200, 200,000 applications, I believe. Um, a media room, which we showed. So a lot of different default widgets and obviously um, the ability to, uh, to add on to that. So very, very exciting product. Samsung is delighted to be the partner that brings the sidekick back. There's still a very vibrant um, base of users out there and a lot of legacy users that are very excited about the opportunity to come back and we're delighted to be partnering with T-Mobile to um, bring a, a fantastic device to market very, very soon. Pricing and availability? So pricing is, is to be determined. Uh, availability is going to be this spring, so expect to see it very, very soon on, on T-Mobile shelves.